Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are doing a series on the Islamic ethics. Um, you can also call it the Islamic ethical code. Uh, we have uh, guidelines from the Holy Quran, from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Ahlul Bayt alaihissalam, to have the best conduct. You are known through your conduct. No one knows how you are uh, except for what you show them, how you uh, behave with them. And one of the most important things according to the teachings of Islam, in the Holy Quran also there is an ayat in Surah Nur, Surah number 24. Uh, ya, oh, my beloved messenger, min Tell believing men that they should put their eyes down. And tell the believing women that they should put their gaze down. So controlling your gaze, um, your eyes should be extremely it is important where you look, who you look at, what you look at. These are very important things. In Islamic teachings, when men and women are communicating with each other, um, they should not form eye contact uh, very strongly. They are allowed to just look once. Um, uh, and with bad intentions, it is uh, not allowed to look at each other. So one should try and put their eyes down when communicating with the opposite gender. One of the other things which is highly important is to control your eyes um, at all times when watching television when uh, with the, in the classroom when in at work it, <coughs> it is important that you always control your uh, eyes and do not look at anything which is forbidden in islam for you to look at imam sajjad al-islam has um, a whole treaty which is known to be risalatul huquq uh, a treaties that describes the rights. I have rights over God and God has rights over me. And likewise, my hand has, has a right over me, my eyes. My eyes have, has a right over me that I must not use them to look at anything which is forbidden for me to look at. Islam says that your eyes are the key and through your eyes, uh, when you look, you need to uh, your, your vision is extremely important that you look at things that improve your vision and uh, uh, things which are uh, recommended to look at like greenery, like running water, like the Holy Quran, like looking at your parents with love and respect, like looking at the Holy Kaaba. These are all looking at these things is ibadat. It is an act of worship. Uh, there are, there's a tradition of the Holy Prophet that says looking at the face of Ali ibn Abi Talib and the Ahl al-Bayt, another Allah wa Jaliyin, Aliyin, Ibadah. To look at the face of Ali ibn Abi Talib is an Ibadat. And likewise, to look at the Holy Kaaba, to look at the Holy Quran, Ibadat. And likewise, to look at your parents. It is important that you look at your children uh, with love as well. And uh, you always give a bad look or a furious look to someone who is weaker than you because you want to uh, oppress them through looking at them and therefore even to look at uh, a child with uh, a severe look, a furious look is not good because uh, that is one sort of oppression, it is a sort of dhulm on them. But controlling your eyes from looking at a um, person who is not mahram to you. There's a tradition that says that protect your women from and uh, mahram from men and women who are not mahram to them. When asked, how is that possible? Only men may not be mahram. Mahram is, are the blood relatives. So only men may be, you must protect your women from uh, men who are not uh, blood relatives. But how, why do you need to protect your women from uh, other women who are uh, not related to them? The infallible uh, describe it that they may go on to ex uh, describe your women to their men in, uh, in uh, uh, a negative way. And also, it is women who, these days we understand that there are uh, men and women who uh, may have evil thoughts. And so we have to cover ourselves. So number one, we need to protect ourselves through covering our body properly. And then if others are not covering themselves properly, then we have to cover our eyes and not look at them. Not cover our eyes, but look away. Cover, in, not in the literal sense, but in the metaphorical sense. That you cover your eyes by looking away and not looking at 
the wrong scene at the wrong um, site because that will uh, start off an evil thought uh, process inside you. Uh, Nabi Isa, Jesus salam, used to say to his people that Moses told you uh, not to do evil. I tell you not to even think of evil because thinking of evil leads to doing evil. So we say that you may not do any evil uh, by saying that I'm only looking at things but I'm not doing anything. But this many times is evil because they may not be allowed. And secondly, even if they are allowed to look at, they may lead to other evil incidents. So controlling one side is extremely important. We in our lives learn from the Ahlul Bayt that the first sight is forgiven, meaning once you look at the, uh, at, uh, um, the opposite gender, uh, once you look at them, uh, it is forgiven. But to go back and look again and to continuously look or just hold on to your look and continuously stare at a person with uh, wrong intentions is forbidden. And Islam not only uh, uh, forbids it, but also says that another uh, uh, the tradition says that looking at an uh, uh, at a, a site or an individual with wrong intentions is one of the arrows of Satan um, and it may misguide you and it may lead you to uh, many uh, evil doings. So one must contain themselves while watching television or while on internet to control their sight from uh, looking at uh, things which are forbidden. We also see that the, uh, the Imam, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib in his lifetime, he was sitting with some some of his companions in Masjid uh, Kufa in Iraq um, and while he was sitting there they came a lady who was not properly covered who did not wear a decent dress and uh, everyone looked at her and stare, started staring at her. Imam Islam said that you all put your eyes down and do not look at her. So even though it was his own government he did not quickly attack the woman. Uh, he told his own companions, his own lovers to put their eyes down and say, do not look at her. Uh, she is not dressed uh, modestly and uh, not covered properly. And then he spoke to her and uh, when she wanted to ask some questions, um, he then said to her that uh, cover yourselves properly or maintain um, uh, your humility uh, through um, uh, uh, covering your body and not exposing it to the others. Now, there can be many aspects to, um, uh, to looking at, at, you know, so controlling your gaze is extremely important, but you look at good sceneries. So you look at, uh, at beauty. Allah's creation is all beautiful. Uh, Inna Allah jamilun wa yuhibbul jamal. Allah is beautiful and He's created beauty in the world. So mountains and natural scenery, all of the natural sceneries are beauty and you should enjoy that. Um, and uh, many times people try and argue that look at the other uh, beautiful people and enjoy but uh, not with wrong intentions and you are not allowed to look at uh, believing people who cover themselves with wrong, uh, even with uh, 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 even without any wrong intention you should not look at them for a long time so you should control how you look at people and how uh, you uh, perceive them so it is extremely important that you show respect um, uh, to the other people when looking at them. Finally, um, they cannot be, uh, I cannot be too explicit uh, because there may be many younger people listening, but younger people uh, from very early age uh, have to be taught by their parents to be respectful to the other gender, to be respectful to other people when looking at them. One of the uh, most important things to do is that sometimes there are people who are um, uh, disabled or people who are uh, um, uh, going uh, who who may not be as nice looking or they may have some um, uh, uh, disformity and we must not disrespect them in any way by looking at them in a wrong way we must show respect to any person who is out there no matter how they are maybe they may be on a wheelchair or whatever you must not look at them in 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 such a way that it shows them that you are disrespecting them so it is Islamic to always respect every and any person that you look at.
and they should feel that you respect them. And many a times just to smile at them with respect, hello, how are you doing or saying something like that, may show to them that you do not disrespect them. So it is important that sometimes you look at people who may not be the nicest looking, but uh, you have to show them respect. I urge all of my brothers and sisters uh, in Islam to, uh, in their eyes, in their gaze, the Holy Quran says that you put your eyes down and do not be alone with people where it may lead to uh, some uh, forbidden acts. So I urge that we always maintain respect with opposite gender, with our own um, uh, people, with others, Muslims and non-Muslims alike. We should always show respect. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين في مال الله